On tonight's edition of the Overtime, NEU is at the quarter pole of their season. We'll tell you where they stand and where they're headed. Plus, NEU Volleyball tips off conference play. We'll break down what is to come for the Lumberjacks. And lastly, the dominant Flagstaff Eagles volleyball team. They're still undefeated and we'll look at how they did it. All that and more on the first fall 2019 edition of the Overtime. joining us and welcome to this edition of the Overtime, Northern Arizona's only sports show. I'm your host, Sadie Thompson, and I'm here with Johnny Crane. Johnny, how are you doing tonight? First fall show of the semester, Sadie. Let's get this rolling. I'm super excited. Sure. First off, let's talk about NAU football and Case Cookus and the offense specifically. What can you tell me about it? Well, the NAU offense is an air raid office. They rank number one in the entire FCA's, FCS in yards per game in the air with over 390. The main one behind that is, of course, Case Cookus. Case Cookus is looking like the explosive quarterback NU fans know and love, and he is having a career year so far through four games, in which he has thrown for 12 touchdowns and over 1,300 yards, which is the most yards through four games in his career. In 2017, he had 1,204, 2016, 1,173, and 2015, 905, and last year, in his only two games before his season-ending injury, he only rainbowed for 265 yards. In regard to the touchdowns, again, he has 12 of them, the second most touchdowns through four games in his career. He had 13 in 2016. Of course, Case Cook is to not be doing this damage without a dynamic wide receiver core. And the wide receiver one for the Lumberjacks this year has got to be Brandon Porter. Brandon Porter is a redshirt sophomore on the team and has shown a lot of growth. With the graduation of Emmanuel Butler, Porter has become one of the primary targets for Cookus. Through four games, he has 327 yards and four touchdowns. He also threw a 55-yard dime on a double pass trick play, showing his athleticism and his former roots as a quarterback in high school. Compared to last year, he had 325 yards receiving during the entire campaign and only one touchdown. He did throw for three touchdowns combined over the last three games, but with a healthy Case Cookus, we might not be seeing that as frequently. Offense in the first half has been seeing some major improvements from last season starting with the new head coach, Chris Ball, who comes from an offensive savvy Memphis Tigers. Something Sadie and I have noticed is Ball is really geared toward an explosive and up-tempo offense. This season, NAU scores early and often in the first half. The offense had a total of 672 yards against Western New Mexico. And they've also had 500 passing yards in two separate games, Missouri State and Western New Mexico. Looking back at the first four games of last season compared to this season, NU has shown a much stronger offense, in large part because of a healthy Case Cookus. And something that I wanted to dive a little deeper into is NEU versus Arizona. Although NEU lost against Arizona, I still want to talk about how the game this year reflects an improving offense. NEU put up a respectable 41 points, the most NEU has scored against Arizona in 10 years. Also, NEU had the lowest point differential versus Arizona this season since 2009, with a total of 24 points. And next up, we're going to be viewing the FCS Plays of the Week, which three of them come from Big Sky Conference. Alrighty, let's look at what we got going on. Alrighty, coming in at number five, we're going to be talking about Montana State. Casey Bowman hands it off to running back Logan Jones. Two missed tackles there, and look at the speed there. The defense has absolutely no chance of catching him. He takes his, it all the way. His speed is tremendous. You yeah. can see just how quick he gets right to the end zone. And he has to keep watch of him in the next game they play. For sure. And number three, Southern Utah. Look at this trick play right here. Quarterback Chris Helbig is going to pitch it to Thomas Duckett and then pitch it again in the reverse toss to Lance Lawson. And in the end zone, throws it back to Helbig, who's now an eligible receiver. Look at that Southern Utah special. What is that reminiscent of, Sadie? Let me tell you. The Super Bowl <laughs> two years ago, the Philadelphia Eagles. An absolutely foolery to the defense there. Great play. Oh, I definitely remember that play. This, this play does resemble a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And then here we have number one, NAU. There was a lot of missed field goals and extra points in the game, and we're going to see one specifically in this video right here. Standard setup right here by the defense. This game had everything in it. Offense, turnovers, good stops. Oh, look at and that And look block. at that block there. 
and he's going to take it all the way. Look at the defensive prowess right here. Look at that block. That, block that made him go so all the way. That, that block was, was so crucial. Significant, yep. Takes it all the way down the field, and only two points, unfortunately. Only two points. I knew you would eventually win that game. Still a great momentum great for momentum. them to move off of on the rest of the game. And then next up, we're going to be talking about any volleyball and highlight on some key players that uh, have been sh proving themselves this season. Sadie, NEU Volleyball currently ranks at 7-5 and five within conference play, beginning last night against Weber State. NEU has been dominant at home this season, posting a 3-0 record at the Roll Activity Center. The highlight win, to me, has to be LSU from two weeks ago. That gives NAU Volleyball two straight years of beating an SEC opponent in Flagstaff. Last year was against 11th ranked Florida, and while the LSU Tigers are not a premier team compared to Florida, they had a 12 and 17 record compared to 26 and 7 for Florida, they are still an opponent from a powerhouse conference in the SEC. Two players have started to show out. Abby Aiken, in that LSU game, she did everything. She tied the team in kills with 11, led the team in aces with three, and blocks with three. Collectively, she is first on the team in blocks, second in kills, fourth in service aces, and fifth in blocks. For the seniors, she is putting it all together. And after having a career year in 2018, she is looking to build upon that and have another career year this year. One more player makes a dynamic duo in sports, and who is it, Sadie? Yeah, Johnny, that's going to be Heaven Harris. Heaven Harris is a di definite standout to me. She's a junior and has shown a lot of aggression this season. In the last five games, she has 53 kills in total, along with 13 digs, which shows that Harris is strong not only in the offense, but is also a key component on the defense. Adding on to that, Harris had a pretty impressive game against Liberty University and ranked second on the team in kills and digs. NAU suffered a tough loss to Liberty, but a bright spot is in the younger athletes on the team. So a younger athlete that I wanted to look deeper into is Jasmine West. She's a freshman from Temecula, and she has been a key player this season. Watch out for her. Now, onto our last topic, an exciting one at that, the undefeated Flagstaff Volleyball. And Johnny, what are you going to tell me about some of those players on the team? You said it, Sadie. Undefeated. This is a squad that, through 13 games, ranks 6th in the state, and in the 4A Grand Canyon standings is first in the section and are 4-0, averaging 12.5 kills per set and 14.8 digs per set. You mentioned the players, Sadie, and this team has a ton of veteran leadership and presence, with over half the team being seniors, including that of Alyssa Prager, Alyssa Williams, Cassidy Berry, Zoe, Zoe Strog, the list goes on and on. The veteran presence will be crucial as section play increases in the coming weeks. The Eagles face Mingus, Prescott, and Coconino in three of the next five games. The good news, as Johnny mentioned, is veteran presence. Some more good news is that they are undefeated and can build up a scorching hot start. And then even better news is all three of those upcoming section games are at home. This is a team to keep an eye on moving forward.